G'day all. I've got my uh, large Taro Sterling engine here. Um, hooked it up to this really nice old Empire um, water pump. I think th these, uh, I think around the mid 1950s, these were made by Empire in the US. Um, came pretty battered. I have stripped it, resprayed it, and uh, I left this beautiful uh, brass pump here in the raw. I uh, actually varnished it, and I think that looks really nice. But uh, we'll see. I've never run it, uh, at least I don't think so. I don't think I've ever run it together, these two together. So we'll put some metho in the burner. We call it metho in Australia. I know other people call it meths. Okay. Got a few drops on the wick. Wipe that up. Put that under the sterling. Then we'll go over here. And we'll fill this up with water. It's always hard you always I've got the uh, camera which is my phone on the tripod and you get caught up sometimes you're looking through the back of the phone where you should be looking at what you're doing over the top of the camera so here we go I've got the, the pump it's got water in it pretty sure that yeah pretty sure that those two pulleys are in line. I don't think that's going to jump off. Now, from memory, this goes anti-clockwise. It should be, should be getting up to warm enough to start. We'll see. Just a little bit more. So I'll give this a spin around as that's warming up. Give you a nice look at this. What a nice little pump these are. Just beautiful. Empire. They made a range of things. Um, I've got one of their large windmills that's got the uh, it's a square base and it's a large windmill and it's also got the, the pump mechanism on that. And uh, they made a they made a fair few steam engines, electrical driven steam engines. It came with a plug. That's one engine that I don't have in my collection. Here's a close-up of the flame. So that surely should be getting warm enough now. Really do. These uh, tarot sterling en engines are a real favourite of mine. It's a, it's surprising to me how often I get this off the shelf just to have a run. But we'll see if that's warm enough now. Ah, there we go. Is it going to run it? See that water starts to come through. There we go. And it's running that with absolute ease. Oh, that's fantastic. Love that. There's something, I don't know, I, I, I watch a lot of people's videos and, uh, there's always something really pleasurable watching a, a steam or a sterling engine running a water pump. Uh, it's just one of those things that you just watch and watch and watch. It's just really nice to see. Well, the tarot's not even really seems to be even working very hard to do that. Do a few close things. The 
the frames per second must be absolutely just matching the uh, 30 frames that the camera's doing. So it's giving that weird effect on the flywheel. What a beautiful little pump. Okay, there we have it. The Taro Sterling running the Empire water pump. Just take the flame away. I'll blow that out. And we'll see how long that goes without the flame underneath the sterling. Just here it's starting to slow down a little bit now. That's fairly really amazing that that's still going to me. Still going strong. Give me here and see it starting to slow down now a little bit. Beautifully engineered and made in those engines. And how's this for going into 70 or 75 years old? What a beautiful pump. Just absolutely gorgeous. Still going. Wow, that's cool. Okay. Really starting to slow down now. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I think that was pretty impressive to run that long once the heat was taken away. But there's another shot. The Taro Sterling and the Empire Pump. Okay, as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.